After Wiley Adams was murdered by Zion, find her a new government contact to bribe. That person is Sterling Reynolds. Muckety muck in the State Commerce Department. Float that name by Carter. You have all the leverage he needs. Amen. Got to split, Davis. Appreciate you. If we give him leverage on Noma's, what's gonna stop that bitch from wanting to kill us? Tell us what this sneaky bitch is up to. Noma's my client. The allegiance is with me. I'm hearing she's making more moves. Yeah, I already got a plan for her. Detective Carter's after you. Killing the cop ain't easy. I don't think we have a choice. Backing down is not an option. Hands where I can see him! What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Odai J and we are locked in. We just seen the exclusive clip for episode 8 between Davis, Tariq, and Monet. And he was explaining to him his plan about getting with Noma. Now, he's trying to get that 51% ownership. And then he can make a little bit of money and pretty much screw her out of the deal. But he also said there's a new guy, Sterling Reynolds, that he's going to hook Noma up with. Now, he's saying this will give you a little bit of leverage over Don Carter. So this will play out for Tariq and Monet in the long run because they have to get leverage. Now, before we jump into this, we break down the photos for this episode and give my predictions. If you like power content, break down series and predictions like this. Then hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button. And thank y'all. We reached 50,000 subscribers this week. So that next milestone is 75,000. So do your boy a favor and hit that subscribe button. But let's jump into it. This is my last thoughts for episode eight. Monet and Kane are finally in the same room together, having the conversation that needs to be had. Monet's probably telling Kane, listen, Don is screwing with the whole family. Diana got us in some mess. We need some information on Noma. But at this point, Kane is right there, right next to Noma. He tried to propose and he's almost at the point where if he marries Noma, he will have free range to her whole enterprise and it'd be strictly business. Now, Monet is probably saying, Kane, you need to look out for the family. But Kane definitely isn't trying to hear that because of the way Monet's been dragging him for the last four seasons. The next thing we see is Anya in here. Now, Anya probably knows about Kane. She knows that Kane works for Noma, but she doesn't know that Kane is actually messing with Noma and potentially about to become her stepfather. Now she's probably looking and saying, what is your mother doing here? Don't you guys work for my mom? Even though she doesn't know that her mom is a drug dealer, she's probably a little curious of why the Tejada's mother, Monet, would be here, especially after being shot. So Kane is probably saying, oh, Monet is just leaving because she may have heard the conversation of, hey, you need to give us some information on Noma. So Anya, she's going to be a little curious about this. She might either confront her mom about this or go take the route of talking to Tariq. And I'm thinking that's why we see Kane offering her some money. Anytime someone's offering you some money is for your cooperation or for your silence. So he might be saying, here's a little bit of money. Go ahead about your day. You didn't really hear nothing. Or here's a little bit of money. Don't tell your mom that my mom came over here. You know, that's just our personal business. Now, Anya, she's probably going to use this as leverage for herself because we really don't know much about her story except for her father was unalive. She's here and Noma is treating her like a little kid. We do know that she likes to party, not party party, but she likes to play with the nose, which leads to a sit down between Tariq, Monet, Kane and Noma. And this is where Tariq is saying we need to work together. We need to figure out how to backdoor Don Carter, because as long as he's alive, he can leverage all of us. I'm talking about the body of Zion, which will fall back on all of us because they were trying to get rid of Zion. And then the body of Felicia that Diana got rid of. So I don't think Noma and Kane really want to participate with this, being that they are in the power spot. And Monet, remember, Noma kind of fired her and said, nah, Monet needs to sit at the house. So I don't think this conversation is going where it needs to go, but I think that's where it's going to take Davis and Tariq to convince Noma because Davis has been hooking Noma up and looking out for her, and he's been hooking her up. Wink, wink. Effie's over at the penthouse. We do have a clue that we will see Effie's mother this season. Now, will it be episode eight or nine? I'm not sure. Maybe this is leading up for Effie's spinoff, but she might be confronting Kane and letting Kane know well, you know, that night I stayed here and I was waiting for you. You never showed back up. So I'm going to go on about my own. And Kane's probably going to be trying to pull her back because he told Noma the marriage will be strictly business. So that means that will open up the relationship with him and Effie. 
But as we've been saying for years, Effie is an opportunist. Noma confirmed that. So Effie's probably saying, you know what, Kane? I'm actually good. You know, thank you for everything. And Kane, he's going to be a little hurt about this, but he's still going to want Effie to be around. Monet and Drew meeting up. It looks like at the docks, we see that Tariq is going to be out here also. But remember, Drew is now the right hand man to Don Carter. They cleaned up Felicia's body and now he's going to be running around the streets. And that's why I believe that Drew and Kane, they're eventually going to collide. These two are going to be going at each other to try to take over the streets. And the reason for that is Kane is doing business with Noma. And if he does marry Noma, this puts him as the significant other for all of her businesses. So he can be able to run that if she's on the live. Drew, on the other hand, is working for the law and he has to do this or his mom and sister will be on alive. So they're going to clash because Drew's got to bring down Kane, but Kane wants to stay in the streets because he sees a promising future as being business partners with Noma. Now, the wild card for this week is going to be Nico. He already started peeping how Don Carter was moving. He's not going to be down for everything, especially with the Kamal. He was okay with stealing money from drug dealers, but unaliving innocent police officers, I don't think Nico's with that. So we're going to have to see who he talks to. Maybe IAB talks to him and he starts saying, hey, I'm seeing that Don is moving a little bit funny, but I can see Don Carter telling Drew to go ahead and take out Nico because once people start asking questions, that's when things start getting discovered. All right, let me know what you think about my last thoughts. What are your predictions? How many bodies do you believe are dropping? And how is Tariq going to get out of this? Talking to Don Carter, talking to Drew. Is he going to give up some leverage on Noma so he can get from up under her? Or is he going to play Don Carter and give up some false information? Let me know what you think. I'm Old IJ. Make sure you tune in tonight for Are We Ready? Tomorrow night, we will have On The Clock where we talk about each individual character break down what they did, and we're just going to have a good old time. My name is Modi J. Thank you guys for helping us reach the 50,000 subscriber milestone. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.